class. I want you to look at a picture and tell me what common purpose these objects serve. The top left is a branding iron. The top right is a barbed wire fence. The bottom left is a parking meter, etc. Dr. Fung. The barbed wire fence and the lock. Keep intruders out. Right? Good answer, John. What about the branding iron and the parking meter? Any suggestion? Dr. Fung. The branding iron and the parking meter also help to keep out intruders, right? Okay, Lynn. Thank you. But, how? Because the branding iron helps the cattle owner to tell her branded cattle apart to prevent theft. Wonderful, Lynn. Right you are. Anyone else to explain how the parking meter helps to keep out intruders? Dr. Fung, I think the parking meter makes it easier for the meter mate to identify non-paying customers. Exactly. Thank you, David. So, all four objects help to keep out intruders and protect the property rights of the owners. In fact, you can say that the American West was won with the help of the barbed wire fence and the branding iron. Because they made cattle poaching much harder and protected the property rights of the cattle ranchers. When the cost of enforcing property rights is high, property rights are frequently compromised. For example, your front lawn can easily become the dumping ground of your neighbor's dogs because fencing is expensive and unsightly. Property rights and law enforcement costs thus ensure that property owners are not the recipients of uninvited intrusions. In economics, we have a technical term for such uninvited intrusions. The economists call it external cost. This cost is external to the owners of roaming dogs because you, the lawn owner, cannot afford to fully enforce your rights. But most external costs are generated because property rights to some resources simply do not exist. Can anyone give me an example of such external costs? Dr. Funk, what about air pollution? Air pollution exists because nobody owns the air. Right. Excellent. Jennifer, air pollution is, indeed, an external cost to the polluters. But in what sense is air pollution external to the polluters? Dr. Fung, air pollution cost is external to the polluters because they do not have to pay for the cost imposed on others. Good. Brian, but why not? Because the recipients of air pollution have no rights to clean air. But why is the air not toned by anybody? Dr. Fung, is it because the enforcement cost is too high? Very good. Kim, to summarize, enforceable property rights mean that the rights owners can enforce compensation for uninvited intrusion. External costs therefore exist only when no property rights exist or because enforcement cost is too high for existing rights. Down with external costs. And up with property rights. Thank you, class. Until next time.